Okay, hello and welcome to LA Zolo's How to Get the Best Out of Your Ass of Gun. Um, I'd like to um, start off with the most important thing to get the best out of your ass of gun. This, the manual. Look at the manual and it will probably tell you how to keep everything clean. All the parts, the amount of battery time you should use. That's all very important. You need this. If you haven't got one, um, most websites let you download them off the website free of charge. If they don't, uh, and if it hasn't covered those and they don't let it, um, you could probably just look on another website if they have the same gun. They might let you download it for free. Okay, so that, yeah, that's definitely important. Okay, now, another thing is this. This is a cleaning rod. This is a cheap one that comes with most um, guns. That if like back gun guns comes with my gun, um, so this is how. Um, if you have a normal one, you know like the more expensive ones, just put it down your barrel two or three times after using it in maybe like a back garden wall, or maybe if you've been out properly, because that will help it to stay clean and not jam. Okay, so now we'll get on with how to make this one keep your airsoft in airsoft gun in bad condition. All you'll need is some sellotape, toilet roll, or kitchen roll, doesn't really matter, and your cleaning rod. Okay, so you take around that much toilet roll and just whip it off. Just like that, doesn't really matter. Then you fold it in half twice. One, two. So it's like that. Then you put it over the one tip, so it doesn't really matter which one, of your unjamming and cleaning rod. Then you put it at the end, around there, like this, and then you roll, and keep on rolling, 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 until it's like that. And just make sure it checks, fits down your barrel. No, this doesn't fit down my barrel, so you make it smaller by just unrolling it a bit. Okay, that failed. I'll get a new bit of toilet roll. So yeah, basically, you just do that until it fits down your barrel. Make it smaller a bit. Yeah, make sure it fits down your barrel. If it doesn't fit down your barrel, you have to remake it so it can't get a pain in the bottom. Like that that should definitely fit down my barrel. Then you just get your sellotape and you get it off and just stick it around this like that in. One in the middle. one at the end. Here. Once you've used this once, get rid of it. The easiest way to get rid of it is to just slide it off. Just like that. Slide it off. And it should come off. Easy. Then what you just do is if you've Maybe got a BB jam or something. You just get it done. No, mine's the World D Mines for us. If you want to know more about it, go and check out my review. Um, just stick it down the barrel. And just push it in and just clean it out. This is accidentally come off in the gun. That's not good. So yeah. If it comes off in the gun, you need probably to put more sellotape on. So basically, you get the picture. Just keep it clean. Keep your gun clean using my method. If you or if you just have a normal one, so that was just if you don't have like a proper one, just how to keep your gun clean. Okay, another thing is don't buy cheap BBs. All right, um, are the BBs I use them if I can find them. Um, there they are. Are XL BBs made in Japan or China, or wherever they come from? 
You can buy them from Airsoft Armories, via support.com. I think that's about it. You can buy them from other places, I'm not sure, but they're just the places I've seen. You get 2,200 in a bag. They're extra heavy, two, two pound, uh, 0.25 grams. There were eight pounds for 3,000. I think that's around $10 for 3,000. Very good BBs. Uh, very accurate. They won't fire as far, but they're definitely very, very accurate. There you go. That's very, like, the node, like, um, join, you know, when they join them together, the BBs, there's, like, sometimes a line down the middle. There's not that. There's no, like, little dots on the, of it. Just a per perfectly round, polished BB. Very, very nice BBs. Okay, the other thing to keep your gun well um, working, the battery. Obviously, you need it to work, but if you fry it and or you charge it too much, and your gun, uh, you just you charge it up. So you haven't used up all the battery, then you charge it up for the three hours that it takes to charge this battery. You will probably um, either fry the battery, and then you have to buy a new battery. Or you might damage the internals of the gun because the internals of the gun will be firing too fast and it's basically using a gun that's not lipo battery ready and just and it will just probably eventually just melt or just ruin the internals of your gun and your gun won't either fire as far or just won't fire at all. Okay? And also, once you've used it, always after a war take your battery out, even if like you're just having a half hour break, take it out. Because it will just stay in your gun and it's just wasting electricity. So I always take mine out and I always clean it out. Another thing, if you have one of these. Speed loaders. Just open this up every now and then. If you have an air compressor. With just you basically it's just like this big tank that's full up with air and a little gun and you just blow this out like if you've got dust in it from having it out in the field or dirt and I always take out that last BB and put it in my gun so yeah if you've got one of these make sure it stays <laughs> sorry uh, clean and also if you have one of these because I know some guns now that are being imported from China don't use mags they, my mate has one. It, they use um, basically the scope is like a hopper, like it feeds the bullets in, like gravity fed. You got one of these, just get the air gun again, as I said, just blow it out, blow it through, and just get make sure you get all the dust out. Because when like you've, when you've used that mag up and you get the next one, you just throw it on the floor. Might get some dirt in there and you just jam your gun. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, Always remember if you have a problem with your gun and you or oh the one more thing, if you if you do get BBs jammed in there, maybe if you've just picked one up off the floor, which you should never do because they get dirty and out of shape, and you do get a BB jammed in there, don't just carry on with the mag in, just go boom and just fire because you'll just get more BBs jammed in there. And it will ruin your gun. Because basically if you're firing without any BBs in, there's a little stopper inside the gun. And the the um, piston inside the gun, which is shooting out the bullet, which is in there, is just hitting that stopper and damaging it, damaging it, and eventually it will just damage, it, start damaging your gun, and the spring will just go like that and just fall, make the gun fall apart, and it won't fire anymore. Um, but if there's a BB in there, it hits the BB and sends it out. So you're just basically doing that with BBs stuck in there and then you're just putting more BBs in there and you're just basically ruining your gun waste of BBs and waste of time as well you could be ha having fun if you just simply, when a BB doesn't come out take your mag out, get a cleaning rod, shove it down until you see the BB there in that little hole and then just shake this down and the BB should fall out and then it should be ready to go again ok so yeah that's pretty much it um, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and also if you want to know more about my gun, um, read the review, watch the review, sorry, 
And also, I've not really done, not doing any more of these, but Nerf. I've got, I think, two videos on them. If you want me to do some more of those, you've got to comment and maybe inbox me. Um, to get me to do more of those. But I'm sort of like hooked on BB and paintball now, so probably quite rare that I do. If I just get back into Nerf, I'd probably do one. So yeah, reviews. If there's gun you want me to review, send me it, and I'll tell you if I have enough money to buy it, to review it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. How to keep your airsoft gun clean and working all times, so you don't have to worry about it in the battlefield. Um, sort of thing video. Then, hope you enjoyed it and. Just remember to watch my other videos. Hello, Zillow, signing off.